You got your Rode Wireless Go 2, but here's how to quickly use it with your camera so you can get that crispy audio. Plus, get a tip on how to maximize your Rode Wireless Go 2. We've got two transmitters and one receiver, and we'll be connecting it to our Sony a6400. But you can use any camera that has a microphone jack, which is usually marked with a microphone, or is marked red like so. First, let's pair our transmitter or microphone and our receiver by turning on both at the same time. But they should already pair out of the box. So just press this button right here for the receiver, and then just press this button on the bottom for the microphone or transmitter. So now this is popped up, and now the blue lights over here are lighting up and you can see they're both steady. Over here is the battery and over here is the connection. As you can see, it's solid. And as you can see here, the receiver is active and we're picking up the levels from the transmitter or the microphone. Next, let's connect the receiver to the camera with the aux cord. So for the receiver, we'll go ahead and plug in the aux cord over here. Then we'll just go ahead and pinch this so that it opens up and just slide it right into the hot shoe. Just like so. Then we'll open up this door here and plug it into the microphone jack right below. Now we'll confirm the connection by talking to the transmitter. Mic test, mic test, one, two, three. Looking at the levels, it appears to be connected, but just because it's connected doesn't mean it sounds good. So we'll go into the microphone settings of our camera. For the Sony a6400, it's on the second tab and it's also gonna be on the second page out of nine. You can go down here, make sure audio recording is on and audio recording level is set to one. This way we get the best audio from the wireless microphones without any additional noise from the camera itself. And we can just go ahead and hit okay and exit. After that, let's go back to our wireless receiver and I want to set the levels to negative 12 dB with this one button right here. So when we go ahead and lay this down, nice. Okay, so with that one button, I'm just gonna go ahead and click this. As you can see here, it says negative six dB, but I want it to be negative 12. It's at negative three, zero, negative 30, negative 27, negative 24, negative 21, negative 18, negative 15, and negative 12. This is the level that I keep it at for a normal speaking tone. For our next mic test, I'm gonna go ahead and clip this transmitter to the collar of my shirt as if this were going to be for an actual shoot and I didn't have any lavalier microphones. Now I would talk normally to have a better idea of what the audio would sound like because I won't be holding it in my hand, as you see. If you look at the levels and they look too low for a normal speaking voice, then I may set it to negative 6 dB or make it 0 dB to make it even louder. This is what it looks like on the receiver when I'm speaking with a normal tone. And then this is what it looks like on the camera when I'm speaking in a normal tone. Now that the levels look good, let's go ahead and confirm the sound quality by hitting record and then reviewing what it sounds like. We are now recording, testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Also leave some room for silence so you can catch some room tone. Because the Sony A6400 doesn't have a headphone jack, we actually have to rely on the camera speakers itself. Otherwise, we just have to go ahead and take our SD card and plug into a computer and listen to the footage from there. So for now, let's just go ahead and look at the playback, bring up that volume as high as we can. Yeah, I can hear my annoying voice, but the audio is clear. Also, another thing to know is that when you are recording, make sure that your levels are not peaking, hitting the max level. See right now, when you look at the camera, the levels are not hitting all the way to the right. They're staying relatively in the middle. But you see, if I speak directly into the microphone and very close, then you can see my levels start to spike a little bit higher. And of course, if I were to change the decibels to something even lower, that would even max out and actually peak. It would hit the max levels and I would have some very cruddy audio. So ideally, you'd like to test normal speaking voice and keep it right there in the middle. If not, just a little bit lower. You could always bring it up a little bit in post. But before you go off shooting your next project, keep in mind that when your audio looks like this on the receiver, one microphone is actually being recorded for one ear or for one side. Whereas the other microphone as well will be recording for the other ear. In other words, you won't be hearing in stereo and you won't be recording in stereo. So to combine both, press and hold these two buttons right here at the bottom. And now instead of the number one popping up there, there's no number there. And even when I go ahead and turn this second microphone on, here it is powered on. Now we have both microphones and now they're both combined. So now we can hear and also record in stereo. There you go, stereo sound. Now we've successfully connected both transmitters to the camera or at least to the receiver that plugs into the camera, tested the sound quality and made the edit easier for later. But just in case one of the transmitters may actually go bad, you wanna keep your tracks separate, left and right, and then combine them in post and video editing software, which I teach you 
over here.